Over the course of two action-packed days, Livestock Marketing Association members and staff met with senators, U.S. representatives, congressional staffers, and U.S. Department of Agriculture officials September 18th and 19th in Washington, D.C. The association's 17th fly-in allowed livestock auction market owners to share their stories and connect with elected officials. Stephanie Marburger and her husband Bracken operate Milano Livestock Exchange in Milano, Texas. She says it was an honor to participate and speak with her state and national representatives. It's really nice to get to establish a one-on-one -on -one relationship with them and get to know more about what they do and them to get to know what we do. First-timer Rich Robertson says the fly-in allowed him to see firsthand how policy is influenced. We've learned the importance of the LMA group and what they provide for our industry, but also we wanted to see how it worked here with the work that they do on, on our behalf with Congress. Throughout the event, LMA members advocated for Congress to pass bills that would update the Packers and Stockyards Act rule that prohibits owning a livestock auction and a packing plant or even a small local locker. Bracken says the rule is outdated. The Packers and Stockyards Act is well over 100 years old now, and uh, we don't do things the same way we did back in 1921. Uh, back then, we had uh, centrally located uh, terminal stockyards that were located right next to Packers. So preventing a uh, person buying as a, your commission agent and uh, Packer from being very close together uh, made a lot of sense back then. The way we do business in today's world is just not that way. We have free, open, competitive uh, auctions at all of our member markets. Uh, these markets are all legally required to sell cattle to the highest bidder, and they're designed to help that consigner get the highest price. Association members say Congress and the cattle industry agree the U.S. beef packing capacity needs to be increased, ideally by adding new competitors to the marketplace. That's why LMA is advocating for passing the Amplifying Processing of Livestock in the United States, or the a Act, and its Senate companion, expanding the Local Meat Processing Act. They say the bills would allow markets to invest in small and regional packers while maintaining necessary safeguards by prohibiting the largest packers from owning auctions. Members also encourage Congress to update Packers and Stockyards Act prompt payment requirements due to slowing mail service and the availability of more efficient electronic payments. The fly-in wasn't all meetings, though. World Livestock Auctioneer Champion Jacob Massey led a live bidding demonstration where attendees witnessed what happens in auction markets across the U.S. every week. Alicia Robertson says the trip was productive. Coming to Washington, having LMA host this event is a great way for people to be aware of what's happening, and that's a lot of it. Knowledge is power. For Livestock Marketing Association, I'm Bob Cervera.